Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. And I just want to warn you ahead of time, I'm going to get pretty salty in this video. It's definitely going to be the saltiest video I've ever made. And it just might be in the running for the saltiest video ever made by anybody about Star Citizen. And the reason is simply I've been made to look like a complete ass by CIG. Less than a week ago, I'm going to bat for CIG, saying that what the press gets wrong about Star Citizen was that CIG, with a combination of a quarterly release promises and openness about would or would not be in those patches, had created a new relationship with its users by having them focused on the content of near-term patches rather than the much more future concerns about when beta or release might someday happen. Well... All that just got torn up by CIG because, well, we're apparently not allowed to have nice things. But before I get more into that, and I have a lot more to get into that, let me touch on something perhaps a little more hidden in the roadmap update. It is just one word. It is that rather than just be focused on Squadron 42, the core gameplay pillar is now described as being exclusively focused on Squadron 42. Adding the word exclusively is not a trivial matter. It means that there is now no core gameplay effort whatsoever on the Persistent Universe. But no, you say, that's all going to get migrated to the PU2. Really? How does that mesh with any behavior whatsoever of the Squadron 42 team? Why haven't we seen the interior of the Idris? Because the Squadron 42 team doesn't want to spoil the experience of seeing inside the Idris for the first time in Squadron 42. So we're supposed to think that the same set of management with their hands on a fun gameplay improvement isn't going to say, ooh, we don't want to spoil the experience of players having this gameplay first in Squadron 42. Note that the first five cards dropped, all them gameplay related, have the following description. As the progress of migrating these features into the PU is finalized, we're temporarily removing the following cards while their PU implementation is evaluated. Note, just the PU implementation is evaluated. The Squadron 42 implementation? Apparently, full speed ahead, if not actually already completed. And what about the process of migrating these features is so special? Since Squadron 42 and the PU share the same code base, migration should present no difficulties at all. What about the process needs to be finalized so much that the cards have to be pulled? Maybe just the timing. After Squadron 42 is released, because of their almost obsessive attitude about spoiling your first experience being theirs. So before this, I could just happily stay focused on the upcoming quarterly releases in the PU and let whenever Squadron 42 comes out be a side issue. But not anymore. With the new exclusive dedication and the wording of the roadmap update, it is now clear that Squadron 42 is a blocker on any substantial gameplay additions to the Persistent Universe. So this is no longer a side issue, but the central question of this PU. When will Squadron 42 be finished? So, CIG, while you're busy not answering that essential question, let's return to the elimination of the all but the most recent quarterly update from the increasingly misleadingly named Roadmap. Apparently, it is supposed to be our fault that it was a mistake to ever give us that because why? Because apparently, we cared about it. We got excited when things were added, even if labeled tentative, and we got disappointed when they got removed. How silly of us. Because, unfortunately, most of us work in professions where when customer-facing milestones are missed, even tentative ones, we don't have the luxury of just saying, oh, things are fluid. And it was tentative, you know. Most of us, when we blow a customer-facing milestone, are used to a very awkward conversation that starts with the words, step into my office and close the door behind you. We don't have the luxury of saying, hey, it's the customer's fault for taking seriously the milestones that we laid out for them. And don't try to spin some story about the so-called progress tracker, because without the release view, it is pointless. It just says that for some range of dates, some group of people worked on something. It says nothing about what was actually expected to be produced at the end, and whether whatever was produced at the end was adequate and useful. You know, actually representing progress. CIG has made it officially clear that the end of a bar on the chart should not be regarded as the item described being finished, only that work on it has stopped and the people moved elsewhere. There are so many dozens of things that were on the tracker for some period of time, the time completed, and we have seen nothing even remotely about them. 
these bars represent actual progress when they are coalesced into something that we actually see being part of a release that will actually be expected to be in the game. Without that, there is no actual progress represented on the so-called progress tracker. And that is what we have now. Expenditure of time and task with no connection to any actual expected results. Utterly pointless to pay attention to. But you've given away that you don't have those kind of step into my office and close the door conversations when you blow milestones. But you are bothered by salty posts. So, challenge accepted. Step into my office and close the door behind you. You don't have to sit because I'll be brief. There are two types of people in the world, those that produce results and those that produce excuses. I may have to listen to your excuses. I may have to evaluate your excuses. I might even rarely have to regard one of your excuses as valid. But you know what I don't have to do? I don't have to give a shit about your excuses. And I don't. And the world doesn't give a shit about them either. We care about results. And you don't want your trademark to be, oh, them. You can always count on them to produce great excuses. They're the best at excuses. Really creative, top quality quality excuses because all anybody cares about is results. When I hit the subscriber and membership goal, I'm not going to be making any excuses about how hard and expensive or fluid is it going to be to do a give a ship giveaway. I give away their choice of the Liberator Odyssey, both of them if it is a member, because commitments are important and results are what matter. See? Oh, and before you go, nobody's fooled. Squadron 42 must have been in an utter disaster state and may well still be, because nobody makes that kind of a huge resource reassignment unless there's a dumpster fire to be extinguished. That's all. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond, Hooray's Guide.